Hey Subaru family, this is Heidi from Subaru of Pueblo and I'm going to show you how to add an authorized user to your My Subaru app so they can also uh, remote start your car and do all the other features that are in the My Subaru app. So first of all, we're going to go into the My Subaru app and I have it set up to log in automatically. So it's just going to take a second to upload. And then once it gets done, we're going to go up here to the menu button. See it up at the top? So we're going to tap into that. And then we're going to go into My Profile. Then we are going to go to Security Settings right here. And then we're going to go to Authorize Users. What this is going to allow us to do is add the person's name and their email. And then Subaru will send them an email so they can add their own account with your same car. So we're going to add an authorized user. And now it is possible to just let them have the same access that you do. And that's going to be level one access. So they have access to all the same features that you do in your app. If you do have a, like a teenager that you're letting use your car, but you want to set the boundary alerts or the curfew alerts or the speed alerts, you would allow them level two access. And so they will still have all the remote features, lock, unlock, horn and lights, and the engine starter and climate control if you have the push button start if you have a key start that part is not available um, but they'll have access to all that they just won't have access to um, the boundary alerts curfew alerts and the speed alerts it will also allow you to add the person that you just put in to your list of emergency contacts and then you just tap on save then they will get the email they will log in set their own password with their username which will be their email and then they'll have the same access that you do and so you'll both be able to use the remote start and all of the my subaru functions that we have thank you so much guys have a great day